Yeah, uh. let's get it. What's happening? What's happening? We trapping, we trapping. Shout out to everybody rocking, man. I got HT on sports in the building. Mr. Hen, what's happening with you, sir? Man, living righteous, baby boy. We in here. Yes, sir. Hey, we feeling good. These cowboys moving and jugging. Hey, they wheeling and dealing. And they got me in my feelings. I'm feeling excellent, dog. Let's get it. Boy, they out here finessing, ain't they? Yes, sir. We finessing these boys, man. They making plays. Them cowboys making plays, man. Shout out to Jameson Taylor. Shout out to uh, Two Broke to pay attention. We in the building, man. Shout out to Michael Lockhart. Let's go. You got your cowboys out here doing their thing now. You know what I'm saying? The beggars can't be choosers. We been begging. Now they done chose to do something for once. You know what I'm saying? Don't hate your team out. Just be grateful. Celebrate. Like I said, never forget, this is a 12 and 5 football team you adding to. You're not taking away like last year. You know what I'm saying? This is not a blank canvas. This is a, a nicely painted picture you just adding the finishing touches to. You understand me? This is the Mona Lisa with the last few strokes on that thing. You understand me? Let's get it. Shout out to everybody rock. Let them know here. We, we ain't got to rebuild, you know what I'm saying? We retooling. Exactly. Hey, man, we already beat the hell out of everybody, man. We won 12 games last year, and we won a playoff game. We ain't trying to take from that. We trying to stand on. We trying to keep building. Yes, sir. We in him. But you know we going to make these haters hate, though. You know this Brandon Cooks made these haters hate because these Cowboys is cooking. You understand me? You already know that. Let's get these, this trap around the corner, man. Let's go. Let's get it. I just blew a bag, ran it back we in the building. Hey, no Give me a one of everything. Sound no lovely, man. I appreciate no everybody rocking. Just let them hate. Hey, we got Mafia make. Mods that in the building. Miss Regina hey, Green, Michael Lockhart, Double Law, Fish the Buzz, the Beatles. You know what I'm saying? Jonathan Taylor over there on Facebook. Sally Lawyer on Facebook. Let's go. Spoonie dog in the building, the money in here. Hey, we booming and jigging today, baby. Let's get it. Hit that like and share for the squad. It will not charge a car. Let's go. The <laughs> money said, the money being nefarious already. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. Ball, man. Street made on the chain. Yeah. Y'all know what time it is, man. We should be happy, baby. Let's get it. We enjoying ourselves. Don't let them haters rain on your parade and try to convince you he's all of a sudden bad. You know what I'm saying? We got some weapons in the building. We got young Ryan Dakota tooled up, baby. We got them scraps ready. Let's go. Let's get it. Hey, shout out to everybody rocking with the squad, man. Y'all know what time it is. We in the building with it. You know, it's Landlord and HTM Sports in this thing, man. Shout out to everybody rocking, sir. What's going on? What's happening? What's happening? Now, you may think you might be watching me from school or maybe at home or even watching me through a phone, but I promise you, you are in the trap, sir. What's happening? What's happening? We got HTM in the bed. How you feeling today, sir? Man, I'm feeling righteous, brother. Hey, real quick, let me show some love to the folks that came over from the liquor store, brought the hen into the trap, man. Yes, sir. So, hey, man. Cowboys fan 95, I see you, man. Michael Lockhart, Gary Murphy, Michael Autry, Brian Kite, Tyrone Church, J Jadget Jeff, I see y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for the love and support, man. Let's keep rocking. Yes, sir. We in here, man. Hey, we live in the trap with him, man. So, I'm trying to send out my little tweet real quick. So, just fill in for a second, man. I, I be slipping on Twitter sometimes. So, give me one second. 
All nah, right. take your time, man. They say proper preparation prevents poor performance. So we are doing what we got to do to make everything do what it needs to do. So, hey, man, we appreciate y'all for rocking with us. And, hey, the Dallas Cowboys are out here making moves. We did acquire a real speedster, a true route runner, and a former number one wide receiver. It wasn't the guy that everybody was, was begging for. It wasn't DeAndre Hopkins. But I'm going to tell you, we're going to get on here and tell you why you don't need to even worry about that. Because Brandon Cooks, that, man, Brandon Cooks is still a dog. Fast. And he will and he will pay dividends in this offensive scheme that you finna see from us, man. I promise you. Facts. We're gonna take a look at some all the numbers. You know he ain't got the numbers, and we're taking a look at the film today, too. So, you know, we got us an absolutely great show prepared for y'all, man. Trap, 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 Make sure y'all hit that trap, like and share for the squad, trap, man. You already know landlord been watching films from sun up to sun down. You already know that. You already know that now. I ain't going to come up here and say what everybody else saying. I'm going to come up here and tell you what I seen. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between somebody who does the research and somebody who follows suits. You know what I'm saying? I don't go with the flow. I am the flow. Shout out to Mr. Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? I'm him. I'm not them. I'm him, Jones. I'm, I'm him, Duncan. We are the flow over here. So when you get to do the work, this the, is this the beautiful thing about doing the work, Mr. HTM. When you do the work, you can be... Speaking with conviction, you know what I'm saying? Cause you seen this with your own eyes. Can't nobody tell you what what you seen with your own eyes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Who gonna tell you what you seen with your own eyes? You know what I'm saying? We don't allow that in the trial. We don't do that. We don't do that. We live the day, sir. I don't know if y'all aware, but your cowboys been moving and jigging. We got this thing going on. So, hey, this is what we all been asking for. This is what we all been waiting for. And the cowboys came and delivered. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'd like to tell folks, you know, just keep it real. I need y'all to stop lying on Brandon Cooks because y'all yes. y'all mad about DeAndre Hopkins. Y'all mad about Odell Beckham. Like, stop lying on that man. Y'all up here saying y'all here saying this man old. Y'all here saying this man injury prone. And that is a lie. You wonder why it's a lie? Cause we got numbers and game tape to prove that it's a lie. So I want y'all to peep this though. Like Brandon Cooks, he's been in the league for since 2014. I think I think that's really what throwing folks off. Like he's been in the league almost a decade, right? Yeah, he's semi old man. That's what they're trying to say. I want you to understand this. Did y'all know that Brandon Cooks is only six months older than Tyreek Hill? What? Say that again. If y'all did not know this, Brandon Cook is only six months older than one Tyreek Hill, despite the fact. <laughs> you got to get that <laughs> done, done, done after that. You understand? Let's I, get I, know you, I knew you were ready for that. Yes, yeah, despite sir. The fact that, despite the fact that he's been in the league two years longer, he's actually only six months older. Oh, I missed the super already, man. Shout out to Mafia, my GTA, cranking it up in the trout, man. We feeling good today, sir. I appreciate you with them five, sir. He said them Philly content creators sick. They mad as, hey, man. Hey, man. We don't know nothing about that, sir. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't, we already checked in on them, man. We checked in on them. You know what was going on? This is what was happening. We just got to open angle on all the Philly fans and the content creators. They over there sad, man. It's a sad day for them. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to be considerate. You understand? Don't, don't do them too bad. You understand? We ain't going to be bullies. You understand? We ain't going to be bullies. That's but, a lie. Uh, yeah, gold you already know down. we finna man come on kick while they down <laughs> take their lunch money slap their girl on they on they on they butt cheek you know, know we finna go at they throat you know we going at they throat we don't care nothing about it bro their misery it brings us joy you understand they we are natural oppositions you know what i'm saying for some of the older fans in the in the building you know ops mean opposition that means they're against us you know what i'm saying we are Batman, they are Joker. You understand me? So, yeah, we laughing at the Ops, man. You know what I tell them? Uh, here, pass me a lighter. Hey, yo, pass me a lighter. I'm trying to smoke me out. I'm trying to smoke me a Op in the building, man. Shout out to Mafia Miles with another super. He gave me another five, man. He trapping today, King. Trap. He trapping trap. today. Trap. He says, trap. Cooks is a young, is younger than D Hop and OBJ. And has more thousand yard seasons than the both of them. Trap, 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 tr
and has more thousand yard seasons than the both of them. Shout out to JC Cowboy Network. Shout out to Tyrone Church, man. It feel like a family affair, man. It's a family reunion today. It's a family reunion today. My cowboy did everything I wanted them to do. Now, it might not be the exact players. You know, I did kind of want Jerry Judy now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to sit up here and count. But, you know, this is no shabby constellation prize here. This is, this is a decent move by your cowboys. I'm not mad at all, sir. I'm not mad at all. Now, I agree with that, man. And like, I'm glad that he brought up that Jared, that uh, Brandon Cook has more thousand yards season than, than those older guys. He also has played more games the last you know, three seasons that them, that them boys have, right? Yeah. They up here, run, they up here trying to run with this narrative that uh he's injury prone. He be missing a bunch of time, this, that, and the third. But did you know that Brandon Cooks actually has played forty four games in the last three years? And this is for everybody else that the, the Dallas Cowboys were talking about. Hopkins only played thirty five in the last three years. Odell Beckham only played twenty five in the last three years. He ain't played a single game last year. And Jerry Judy, he only played 41. So all these other guys that we were connected to, talking about, talking to, Corden, like he, he played more games than them. He's been healthier than them. And Absolutely. The most important thing, he had more playoff experience than them. Yeah, this man played in the Super Bowl. Two, uh, he been to two Super Bowls. Two Super Bowls. Hey, that's even better. You know what I'm saying? We got two Super Bowl experienced players in the corner. And in a wide receiver that's bringing his leadership to your locker room. That's outstanding, y'all. I don't think y'all understand what that's going to do for this locker room. But shout out to um, B Bird in the building, sir, with the $2 holler. What's happening? I appreciate you, sir. He said, What up, landlord and Henny? Great day to be a cowboy. Ain't it outstanding, B Bird? Ain't it outstanding? Yeah, now you know when I told you, when they making the moves that I asked for, you know I'm finna cut up today. You know what I'm saying? You know I can't hit, but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is what I made the trap for. You know what I'm saying? This is why we got this platform. To cut up when your team cut up. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? Be that arrogant cowboy fan right now. Don't be on the wrong side of history. You understand me? Your team finna cut up. And if you got any doubt in your quarterback, you are... Stone cold crazy. Dak finna act a fool with Brandon Cooks. Boy, they goofy. Oh, <laughs> hey, real quick, real quick. Shout out to Coach Moore for the five dollar donation, brother. Shout out to Coach Mob in the building, man. Trap, we appreciate you, trap, Coach. Trap, Let's trap, get it. Trap, Look, trap, you trap. add Brandon Cooks to this offense, you gotta think. We're not asking Brandon Cook to be Brandon Cook of Texas. That's why I said yesterday. You're not getting the same Brandon Cooks that you got. In Houston, this is a whole new version of him. You want to know why? Because he's around a better offense with a better quarterback, and he is somewhere that he want to play at. Him, he want to be here. He want to be here. Shout out to Dwayne Brown, Miss Queen Cowboys. What's happening? She said, "What you want me to say? I don't know what you got." I don't know what Queen Queen be in the fairies in the chat. Uh, you almost got me, Miss Queen. You almost got me. <laughs> Shout out to uh, you got us to pour it in the building. Shout out to Chop Top with the two dollar holler. What's trap, happening, sir? Trap, trap, trap. He trap, says, "Shit, I played trap, sixty five games in three years and OBJ in the Super Bowl." Yeah, uh, what you mean? You said I played sixty five games. What you mean he played sixty five games in three years? I don't know, Chop Top. Feel me? I'm kind of lost. You know what he mean? Nah, you know, I don't even see Chalk coming. Oh, okay. He's, uh, he said, shit, I played 65 games in three years and OBJ in the Super Bowl. I don't know what you mean by that, sir. I'm sorry. Um, Shout out to Double Law in the building. Everybody rocking, man. Coming since last. We in here, man. We trapping on a Monday. We trapping on a Monday. You know what I'm saying? And your team is actually doing common sense moves. You should be excited, y'all. Y'all really should be excited. Hey, shout out to B Bird. I heard John Skywalker call, man. He said, hey, man, this a reference to Landlord. He said, hey, we ain't got Big Mike no more. We got Nefarious Mike, sir. We got Nefarious Mike, man. I appreciate that love, Mr. B Bird. He said, shout out to Nefarious Mike. The culture is shifting. Yes, it is, sir. Yes, it is, man. Y'all should be happy. Just like you said on your analogy, B Bird, when we swing, don't be mad if we miss. 
You know what I'm saying? Just be mad if we standing out at the plate with the bat and scared to do something. You know what I'm saying? That's when that's when you be mad. When they don't have the heart or the passion or the courage to attempt to swing. That's when you get mad. Sometimes, you know, you're going to miss a couple on. But I want my team to be a big swinger in free agency. And, hey, we ain't big swinger, but at least we swinging. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? At least we swinging. But, yeah, man, I got a few things that's going on. Let me see, man. You know, we building this plane wise in the air. But I think somebody said, you heard? What that, What was that hint? Somebody said. Oh, it's breaking oh, news. Nefarious news. It's nefarious okay. news. That's what it is today. Oh, my bad. I wasn't aware. I feel you too. You know, they said this is not live from the star. It's live from the, you know what I'm saying, by the place real, real close to it. You know what I'm saying? We we got some images of Mr. Dak Prescott. Got them boys moving and jugging out there, him. Trap. Trap. Them boys Trap. moving and jugging Trap. out here, man. Dak got them boys in the Dak yard. So, hey, this is what you want to see from your quarterback. This is leadership. He got Jalen Tobit out there. We know he definitely need to be out there. You know what I'm saying? He got uh, Semifei Hoku, I believe. He got a couple of players, man, Turpin. He got some players that need that work, and your quarterback is taking the initiative, inviting these guys over, you know what I'm saying, putting in that work, sir. Trap. Trap. What you feeling Trap. about that, man? Trap. 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 What you feel about seeing Dak with got your, got your players in the Dak yard? Man, that's, that's, that's real initiative, man. It's leadership. Yep. And listen. This is stuff he ain't got to do. Like he could be on vacation with no. He this man got got a hundred sixty million dollars in the bank. He could be somewhere with a snow bunny on an island, uh, parlaying with his feet up, drinking a mojito. But he ain't doing that. He, <laughs> he, he, he in Dallas, man. He in Dallas with the young guns, trying to improve his game, trying to help them improve. So you man, you gotta love it. Listen, this is like this is the stuff that we talk about, like about being a leader, like. Dak Prescott is a leader by example. Yes, He's out sir. them with them in the in the middle of March when there ain't no football being played. Right, he could, he could be chilling watching the XFL game. Right, he want to see some football, be around some football. Yes, he far laying, man. He, he up there with, with the with the guy trying to get better. Facts, and, you know, man. That's why you can, that's why you never count Dak Prescott out, man. That's why he took the least and brown, uh, least and least and bounds in his in, in his development. Yeah, like, he he's got a much better passer. He got Dennis Houston out there too, man. Shout out to DC for life with the two dollar holla. I appreciate you, sir. Trap, trap, trap. What's it? Trap. He said, what up, landlord? Let's go, cowboy. DC 4L, man. That's the type of spirit I need in here, man. Y'all must forgot who we was. We are America's team. Y'all the must forgot who we was. The most hated. Y'all don't like us, but y'all tuning in every Sunday. They tuning in every Sunday, man. You got to walk like a king to be respected as one, sir. You understand Trap. me? Amen. Trap. You got to walk like Trap. a king. Trap. You know what I'm saying? Trap. That guy that got them boys getting right, man. I love it. I love it. Like like he said, he could have been doing anything in the world, but he out there putting in that work, sir. And, hey, you need to take your hat off. Like, hey, y'all think it's easy to be this dedicated and this determined to be better and be great. It ain't easy. These are young men. You know how nefarious we be on the weekends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hey, shout out to DC for uh, DC for life for the three dollar donation. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you the DC for life, life and they're trapping with trap, us. Trap, trap, but trap, this is not easy, y'all. This is not easy to be this focused when when nobody's looking. You know what I'm saying? When nobody sure told you to. That. But listen to this foolishness, Mr. Uh, Kelsey talking about our cowboys. Now listen to this foolishness. Seeking you hear this now. I'm not a Harry Potter guy like that. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. So I had to go to refer to some of my Harry Potter people. So my wife loves it. My brother in laws love it. So I just had to ask. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a Harry Potter guy, unfortunately. But this is the analogy Mr. Kelsey said about our Dallas Cowboys. Listen up. What about a guy like Tony Romo? Slytherin. I mean, anybody on the Cowboys is Slytherin. So is Jerry Jones like the? Is he like the head of Slytherin? Yeah, Jerry Jones is for sure Slytherin. He's Lord Voldemort. He's probably got Horcruxes scattered all through uh, the United States. Jason Garrett being one of them. What's a Horcrux? Well, a Horcrux <laughs> is when somebody uh, separates their soul and they put their soul into another object or person. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You see where we're going in this? It makes sense now, right? See, 
That's that's that foolishness that them eagles be on now. They sneak dissing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really not sneak dissing. They they all out with it. But hey, y'all took that L. It's all good. But hey, what you think about that? Are you familiar with Harry Potter? I'm not sure about the chat. Are y'all familiar with Harry Potter like that? I am. They trying to say we evil. Yeah, yeah. We the big bad wolf then. Hey, hey, hey. Well, hey, what that boy Shy should say? <laughs> hey, he, he support he support Gucci. Hey, he said he ride Gucci because they support the snakes. So, hey, they, they said we big slime. They, they uh, said we big slime. Let's get it. <laughs> hey, they they afraid. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing. They afraid. But let's see. Okay, let's see what else we got on the jump. Hold on, is that the same thing? Yes, it is. Wait a minute. I had my other stuff. Give me one second, y'all. Hold up. I got it going. I got it going. Give me one second. Shout out to Mafia My GTA with the five dollar suit. Trap, 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 trap. He trap. says, um, players. Hold on. Let me bring up the regular screen. Y'all know I'm building this plane in the air. Forgive me. Forgive me. But um, he says prayers up, prayers for the two students shot at Lamar High School this morning down the street from Cowboys Stadium. Dang, I ain't heard about that. Dang, yeah, prayers up for those students, man. That's that's terrible news. Was it a was it a like a, a student that did it or just a crazy fool coming into school? What happened? I ain't heard nothing about it, man. Dang, that sucks. That sucks. It's some crazy people in this world, man. Crazy people, man. Yeah. Just, just pray for the protection and the well being of them kids, man. Just hey, keep them in your prayers. And you know, that's the best that we, that we can do right now, man. You know, we hate you know that, that the world is like like this, dog. Yeah. You know, that is so common that is so common nowadays, man. So like I just pray for their well being. I hope they are right. You know, I hope that they survive any wounds that they may have may have maintained. I hope whoever did it, you know, that they got them. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good, man. I, I hate to hear stuff like that, though, man. It just kind of killed my mood, unfortunately. But, you know, it's, it's got... It's just a parent. Yeah, we got prayers up for them, man. We got prayers up for them big time, man. But, uh, like I said, I'm kind of building the show real quick. I got y'all, though. I'm finna throw good, some man. of this Cook's film on here. So, uh, you want, me to talk some, you want me to talk some numbers while you're working with that, man? Yeah, talk some numbers for me, man. You know, yo, you know who you are. Talk some numbers to these good people, man. All right, man. So, hey, we've been talking about, hey, real quick, shout out to Dwayne Brown for the five dollar donation. I appreciate you for shout the Shout out support, to you, Dwayne guy. Brown in the building. Appreciate you, sir. But yeah, in terms of Brandon Cooks, man, like this is a guy who is still a speedster. Like he ran a four three coming in. He is a, he's only twenty nine years old. Like I, that's why I be talking about. You don't need to listen to the talking heads, the Hayden Eagles fans. This man ain't even thirty yet. He will have played a game a, a game or two with the Cowboy before he even turned thirty. So he won't be thirty until you no know, like a couple games into the season. He's yeah. only twenty nine years old. He runs a four three. He still runs the four three. And check this out, man. He is second in the league. In 30 yard receptions since 2014. The only guy who has more 30 yard bombs caught is Tyreek Hill in that time frame. He has more than that. De that deserved the bomb. My bad. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you good. So, like, if you talk about a deep play threat, like, he has, you know, more, more deep, he has more deep balls than everybody else since 2014. He has more than Mike Evans. He has more than whoever else you want to name, right? Since, since he's been since coming into the league. Like you can, you can guarantee that he is going to make a play down the field, and that is the dynamic that he brings to the team. He, like he, like listen, he really can run by. He really can run by guys. You're flat footed. If if you're even, he's leaving. So you know that's why you need to be really be excited about this. Even last year, you know, in in what what people would consider a down year for him, he averaged twelve point five yards a catch. So he basically averaged thirteen yards of reception. Yeah, yeah. That's that's big right there. That's outstanding production at his age. So let's let's take a look. I think I got it set up now. We finna take a look at some of this film work, man. Let me get a little music up in this thing. So you know, you know how we do it in the trend out. I appreciate everybody Trap. rocking Trap. with your boy. Trap. You understand? Trap. We in the Trap. building with it. So let me uh pull it up. I got you right now. Bam. Everybody watching, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you can and can't see at the moment, but 
We got Cooks right here at the bottom of the screen in motion, looks like. Let's run it. Bam. You got him in motion at the bottom of the screen? No, I <sighs> see myself right now. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're a little behind. But, hey, you see, with routes like that, you need somebody that's going to respect that speed. You need somebody that's going to make them respect that speed. Now, we like to do all these comeback routes. This is this is the type of speed you got to have to determine it. You see how far back that cornerback played that route just because of the speed. You know what I'm saying? He started backing up way too early. You know what I'm saying? He's backing up. And his hips are already turned to run. That right there indicating that, hey, he know this guy got some speed. You need somebody to be respecting that speed, sir. You know what I'm saying? I love hey. the effect he going to have on this team. Did you notice something? Did you did you notice that the stop route worked well because the, the corner played so far off? Yeah, yeah. Like he, like he had no he had no chance of jumping that route because you know you're not going to try and jump a route with Brandon Cooks. You're not like, going to be playing. You're going to give a player like that cushion. He demands cushion, sir. Trap, trap, he demands cushion. Trap, trap, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trap, trap, you can't trap. you can't be playing man up on him. You're going to get burned. So, let me see. I think, yeah, he at the top of the screen. This just showing, like, how they like to use him, like a little swing pass, little screen pass. He can, He's a yak guy. He's a brown looker simple. You know how we do it, man. You understand? Hey, he, he be sipping that hand? Yes, sir. Now, look, this right here is stuff that's frustrating. Now, Dak Prescott, I think Dak would have hit him. See, it's a lot of food left on this table with just Davis Mills being your quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Here, like, this is what I'm telling you. This man could have had a way better year. He wasn't motivated. He didn't want to be there. He was throwing a hissy fit. So how much how much of production and motivation you think he gonna have to play with this squad? Now I know, I know they I know we humans. I know well, I know they're millionaires and they're getting paid to do this, but it's also a human element to this, man. If you're not motivated, you're just not motivated. It's going to be hard to get up for games when your team absolutely suck. You know what I'm saying? Trap, trap, hey. trap, 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 Let's put, let's put this in perspective for, uh, for the guys. Like, this man has played with Tom Brady. He has played with Drew Brees. Yeah. He played with he played with Sean McVay as his, as his play caller when Jared Goff was actually good. So, like, to go from that to playing with Davis Mills, you know what I mean? Like, I will understand why I, I wouldn't be motivated. Like, this was a guy who went to Super Bowls back-to-back -back years. And it was a guy that was constantly in the playoffs, constantly trying to win something. Look, y'all know I had to have this play for y'all. Check him out on the side of, on the right side of the screen. Look who we going up against. Ah, Stephon Gilly. He got Gilly on that one. You know what I'm saying? He got Gilly on that one, but, hey. That was good coverage still, you know what I'm saying? But that's showing you. I just told you how good uh, Gilly is. Brandon Cook still producing on him. Check out the speed. But Gilly got him on that one. Gilly got him on, got him on that one. He caught him on the out route. And look how terrible that decision was and that ball, man. Davis Mills should make you appreciate Dak Prescott, sir. He should make you appreciate that. Because he sure made me appreciate him. But check this out. Look at that speed, man. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. Bink. Now, look. Look how terrible of a ball that was. If that was a better ball, man, that would have been touchdown. Check him out. You know, down the scene. Burnt everybody. That would have been a super touchdown. But what a terrible throw. Made him have to adjust and turn all the way around just to catch the football. That's on your quarterback. Dak would have led him out in front with that ball right there. He would have threw it right there. And look how it, it was just a bad ball. He still produced out of it. But, hey, that's showing you how he can take the top off the defense and how he can separate from his defenders. That's what we need in Dallas, sir. Trap, 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 you got a savvy veteran plug-and-play guy that knows exactly how to get open in, in the zones and stuff like that, find the nooks and crannies to manipulate these zone coverages. He understand how to utilize his speed. He know how to manipulate the route running. He know how to open your hips up as a DB because you got to respect that speed. You got to give him a certain amount of cushion. Now, I'm going to be real with you. With a guy like this, most people are afraid when they line up against him because ain't that ain't scarier to a DB than pure speed, sir. Trap, 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 ain't that scarier to trap, a DB than pure trap. speed. 
Because think about it. Even the best DBs, they really just not burners. They really more reactive. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, did, and listen, yeah. even if uh, even if a defensive back has speed, a majority of the time they are backpedaling. Facts. So they're, they're, not, they're not even in a position to use their true speed. Whoop. Right? So they're trying to run backwards against a guy that runs a 4-3. So, of course, you know, it's going to be – you know, it's gonna have your heart racing like when they they get up on you. Yeah, check them out with the slide route. Well, it's a post route. He got him. Hey man, hey man. And then this is him being a number one corner. I mean, wide receiver. Trap. This is him being Trap. a number one. Trap. Trap. This Trap. is him being a number Trap. one. And we're not asking all that. We're not even asking this from him. You know what I'm saying? We we asking him to beat number two corners. Bink. Great, great adjustment to the ball. Man, hey, man, I'm excited, man. Don't let nobody tell you that this was just a little little weak move that you can just gloss over. That's not true. That's not true. You know that. You know some people calling us the Cowboy Milf Busters, Mr. Hen. You know what I'm saying? Some people call us the Cowboy Milf Busters. That's what I'm hearing on the street. You know what I'm saying? We got to set the record straight when y'all be having these crazy narratives. You know what I'm saying? This boy beating people on the edge. He's a slot guy. He can do whatever you want him to do. He's a yak guy, plug and play, veteran, that's going to be ready to produce for this football team day one. And that's exactly what I wanted. Now, he's not the name I, I asked for, but he is exactly in the mold of what I was asking for. What you got here? listen. I was just going to say two things real quick. Like, everybody was asking for DeAndre Hawkins and Odell Beckham, right? Uh, Brandon Cooks had a 1,000-yard season more recently than any of them boys. Yeah. Like, it's been it's been two entire seasons, you know, since DeAndre Hawkins had a 1,000-yard season, and it's been, like, it been like four for Odell. Brandon Cooks just had a 1,000-yard season in 2021, right? So he's, he's only a year removed from being a 1,000-yard receiver, and the reason that he didn't get a thousand yards this year is because he missed four games trying to force his way out of Houston. Man, this boy just Thank catching you. over two players like it ain't nothing, sir. Like it ain't nothing. High point the football at five eleven, I believe he is, and he's still high five point the football over people head. See what people don't realize when you got decent ball skills, man. Height matters. But if you got decent ball skills, you you what you already got the advantage over the DB, sir. You already got the advantage. This is why players like Tyreek Hill and players like Steve Smith still dominated this league, sir. You know what I'm saying? They don't have to be the tallest guy. You want to know why? Because they know how to adjust with the football. They hand-eye coordination is way better than the DB most of the time. The DB is praying to God that you don't throw his way, man. That's just how they are. You know what I'm saying? The wide receiver, could, he he don't even got to look at the ball for long and then just go off and catch it. The DB is over there praying to God that you don't throw his way. So it's, it's different. You don't have to be this super tall guy to be effective in the league. It's all about hand-eye coordination and ball. Like, you know what I'm saying, judging the ball in the L. But this was a great play by him. Over the shoulder throw. Now, that was a decent throw. But look how he just was more physical than the wide receiver, high point of the football. That's exactly what type of stuff we need in our slot. I believe he going to run more in the slot, though. Trap, 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 trap. Even though he is an outside receiver as well. Well, he can do both. You know, yeah. if you look at the uh, snap breaks downs across his career, like he played twenty four point seven percent in the slot last year, thirty four percent in the slot the year before, twenty nine percent the year before, thirty three percent. Hey, even in two thousand sixteen, he played thirty seven percent in the slot. So, like, he's a guy that you can move all around the field. So there really is no drop off, you know, in in his production from either slot. He can he can line up <laughs> on the right side, left side slot. You can even motion motion him across the field, give him sweeps. Like he's he's that kind of player, man. Hey, man, look, uh, y'all know I got a laugh at him, bro. Look at this. Check out this linebacker. He he started doing the red from Friday like he just he just giving ah oh, I just uh, I just can't do it. <laughs> uh, look, that's that's that moment where you trying to show coach. I'm trying, coach. I'm I'm giving effort. But I just I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Hey, trap, 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 good trap, luck trying to catch trap, this dude. Trap, trap. 
Yeah. See, that's what you want to do. You see, they got them messed up on the linebacker. Like, that's just and not fair. Eight. That's not and fair. That's a West, and that's a West Coast concept you just seen. This was a very, very shallow cross. Yeah. That's not fair when you matching up a guy like that with a linebacker, sir. Like, good good grief. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know, I, only reason I said that, I want you to know, like, this is – you will see this play in our playbook for Brandon Cooks. Did y'all see how easy that was, high point the football, extend, and ran right up the field? You know what I'm saying? Didn't even take that much motion, man. I love the body, the body control he got. Know what I'm saying? Look how quick he changed direction, sir. Look how quick he changed direction. Trap, 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 trap. This is something that this team been needing for a long time, man. And shout out to the people. Shout out to the front office for actually getting us what we needed for once. You know what I'm saying? We been needing this like like a bad. You know what I'm saying? We been needing this really, really bad. You understand? And we finally got it. And I'm happy. You saw you smart enough to get out of bounds, too. Yeah, yeah. And did you see how he tapped the ground? Like, he is Tyreek Hill-ish now. He is-ish. I'm not saying he is Tyreek Hill, but I'm just saying he is-ish. I like the way – I like what I see from him. Shout out to man, Mafia Miles. He was Tyreek Hill before Tyreek Hill, man. Yeah. Shout out to Ty Mafia Miles with the $5 super. I appreciate trap, you, sir. Trap, 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 trap. He said, outside of our division, the only tough teams on our schedule is 49ers and Dolphins. I could see us finishing 14-3 and three next year. Maybe better. Hey, man. Hey, man. You know, I don't like to beat on my chest here. You know what I'm saying? But I did predict us 12-5 and five last year. Trap. Trap. You know what I'm saying? Trap. Trap. Now, to be fair, the way we got there wasn't exactly how I said it. But I did say... We was gonna finish twelve and five, so I was pretty, I was pretty good in my prediction. Once the schedule come out, that's when I start doing my um predictions and stuff. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a hold out because the way those games are aligned, it matters to me. You know what I'm saying? It matters to me. Dead, and I gotta see what everybody does, man. I gotta see their their final rosters. There's too much stuff going on between now and then for me to be predicting anything. And you know, I be sports betting, so you know this. Yeah. I, I don't just be picking. I don't be just picking stuff. Be picking stuff. Oh, they say Odell oh, went to Minnesota. Good grief. That's final. Mm -mm -mm. We could have signed them and had two of them. You understand? Two of them, man. Why y'all with you doing? Miss Gina Trap. L chasing Trap. here. Trap. You know we got that fried bologna in there for you, man. We got a little mustard and everything. We're going to trap that thing on out. <laughs> you already know we got it for you, Miss Gina. You know that. But man, hey, before I, hey, before I forget, Coach Moore said please follow him on Twitter. He's trying to build his page up, brother. Okay, okay. We got you, Coach. We got you, Coach. Shout out to Coach Mob in the build. But yeah, man, let's see. Let's see. Okay, what I had, I had something else for the people too, I believe. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. Here is, let me see. You did his numbers already, then. Yeah, I, I, you know, there's always more numbers, man. So yeah, you yeah. Need some more numbers. Stop no, some, I got, uh, numbers. let me see. Let me see. You know, uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Boom. Let me see. Boom. Boom. Okay. We know Brandon Cooks got traded. Let me see. We know we got Brandon Cooks. I'm just going over some of the stuff I got prepared, you know. But I like I like what we got for him. You know what I'm saying? I like what we gave up. Only a sixth round pick. I mean, fifth round pick of 2024. I mean, hold on. 2023 fifth rounder and a 2024 sixth round pick. Players that are probably going to have their CDL, you know what I'm saying? My mama. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is no hate, no disrespect, but you know, it is what it is. Like most of these guys don't make the team. So we didn't we didn't give up anything, you know what I'm saying? In my opinion. I like what I got for the I like the value. Um make sure y'all check recheck that if Odell over there, because I ain't did it. So I ain't seen it yet. I, you know I went and looked at me. Yeah, Cowboys recent roster moves. Tony Pollard franchise tag. Trade for Stephon Gilmore. Trade for Brandon Cooks. Rework Tyron Smith. Resign Donovan Wilson. Resign Leighton Van Der Edge. Resign Cooper Rush. Resign uh, Special Team A.C.J. Goodwin and release Zeke Elliott. So 
out of these moves right here, what is the letter grade y'all giving your front office so far in free agency? What's what's the letter grade y'all got going? Trap, 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 so let me ask you. Do you want an overall letter grade or do you want an individual letter grade for each move? We got to do overall right now. I want class participation now. Make sure we get a letter grade. We need a letter grade for all the moves together so far. What do you think? How y'all feeling about your front office so far? Because they shut me up to a certain degree. They shut me up to a certain degree. So let's see. Let's see what the people saying, man. How y'all feeling? And then I meant to do a poll about the Brandon Cooks move. What y'all feeling about that? Okay. I see. Marky Franklin says a B plus. Peter Rizzo says an A. Double R says a B plus. Uh, Lawson Translation says B plus. Two Broke to Pay Attention says A minus. Willie T says B. Uh, let's see. Gina L. Chase says B plus. Okay, the people feeling it. I see some C's coming along. I see some C's coming along. Good grief. The C got to be because of the players we got. Because the moves, bro, I told you. I'm, they Maybe giving me everything it, I want. It, it, it could be that or, or it could be part, partially how some people feel about the Ezekiel Elliott release. Maybe the Zeke Lee release. Yeah, yeah, true. He said we get Bible Wagner. It's an A. Uh, Gene Jones says an A. John Cofield on Facebook says A so far. It would be an A plus plus if we get Bobby. I don't want to be the bad bad news to y'all, man. But I don't. I really don't think we're gonna get Bobby. Because <laughs> that re-signing the LVE, I think that took us out of it, man. I think that took us out of it. So I don't want to be the bad Jane, bad, bad news. Chuck Tao says C minus. Miss Regina says an A. You know what I'm saying? Swain says B plus. Louis Nevada says B plus. Carolina Cowboy says A minus. I believe that might be the fairest one you could say. That might be the fairest one you could say. What's up Eli with the B fellas? Minus. The false signings and trades in the chat. I don't know, Mr. Brian Gaines. I I, I I just was reading what they said. So, hey, don't take my word for it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even looking at Twitter right now. So, don't take my word. HTM Sports, you ever heard of this guy right here? You ever heard of him? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm talking about that. Who is this guy right here? Have you ever heard of him? He says, hey, this guy. Some guy named HTM Sports on here. He says, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I do know that gentleman. He's he, he seen, he seen you pretty educated, man. You know what I'm saying? About numbers. Maybe so. Maybe so. Michael Lockhart says B+. Plus. Aston Howard says an A, but they need to get Bobby. Saint says B+, plus, A+, plus if we get Bobby. Um, you know Choctaw always on the wrong side of the bed. That's my guy, though. Choctaw, I know he gave him a C. Where my guy at? Oh, Choctaw gave him a C minus, man. Hey. <laughs> my boy Choctaw ain't never woke up on the wrong, the right side of the bed. Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Coming since last says B plus. Kyle Mayne said we go, we can go get a Bobby in the draft. I don't know about a Bobby, but we can get a decent linebacker though. Nah, you, you said a Bobby. Like yeah. Bobby, Bobby, go, Bobby uh, got yeah. a gold jacket coming. That's, that's in his a gold side. jacket guy. Shout out to Taylor Amp Mayden. Sports in here with the A minus in the building. Kevin Hicks got an A minus. Um, he said I need that tool, fam. I got you, uh, Amp Sports. I got you. Um, Kevin Hicks says A minus. Um, let's see. Brian Bradford says B. Um, Marcus Hardison says nefarious good grief. You know what I'm saying? Trap, 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 if you didn't know, you know, that's my signature. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bruce got the toxic juice in the bed and says B. Um, so I think I think everybody most for the most part are pretty much happy it's with these great. moves. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, everybody is pleased. I think they didn't finally shut us up. Do y'all think we gotta retire the Dollar Bill Jones yet? Dollar Bill? No. <laughs> do we gotta do we, we gotta retire this? Do you Don't know why? What well, you know why it's no? Why? Because one year does not equate to what you've done <laughs> in your career. Yeah, the, same way, the same way that I I'm not gonna call Dak Prescott turnover uh turnover prone for having one year of throwing interceptions. I'm not gonna call this man aggressive or retired Dollar Bill Jones because he had one year of doing things right. Fair. Right. And listen, 
We still can't can't not call him Dollar Bill John. Okay, all they did was finesse. He gave him <laughs> a fifth round. He gave him a fifth round pick for Stephon Gilmore. Great pick. Still a great player. Probably a top ten cornerback right now. Still, but he gave up next to nothing to get him. Same thing with Brandon Cooks. He was so cold with Brandon Cooks. They paying part of Brandon Cooks uh, deals, so he'll be here in Dallas. And they only had to give him a fifth round and a six. So he's still cheap as hell. Yeah, he's still cheap as hell. So he's still dollar bill. But you know, he just. <laughs> He he went to Ross and they had a and they had a sale he couldn't refuse. Like the polos were were seventy percent off when he went there, so he got some polos this time. Yes, sir. Hey, we he changed it up on us. That's what he did. He just changed how how cheap he was. He 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 uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He altered the way how cheap he was. That's all he did. Cause yeah, like he was this cheap. Yeah, it still was pretty cheap. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can't get mad at the deal. It's still pretty cheap. But you know what I'm saying? I feel like it was pretty effective as well though. You know I what I'm do. saying? And this and this and this why I, I this why I gave him good grades on the moves he made. Cause you know, it, it can be cheap to a fault, right? But he made moves that made sense. He added you know, he added guys that could still play, that still produced just last year, right, at positions of need. And that's exactly what we asked for. We we never asked him to go out here and try and trade for somebody like Devontae Adams. We didn't ask him to go and trade for uh, Jamar Chase. We didn't ask for T. Higgins. We yep. didn't ask for a young guy that, that's going to that's going to reset the market or nothing. We asked you to get somebody better than Noah Brown, and you did it. Facts. So I ain't too mad at it, man. I, I'm pretty decent with it. I, I like some of the moves, but this right here is our projected starting lineup. Shout out to John Mochata. Y'all go follow him on Twitter, man. He's a great follow. Shout out to him. Trap, 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 trap. So okay. This is our projected starting lineup. Tony Pollard, that running back. Y'all stop me when you're feeling bad, when you're feeling sad. You know what I'm saying? They probably already stopped me with the running back. Shout out to JP in the building, Cowboy Brian. Shout out to everybody rocking, man. We trapping, man. Make sure you hit that like and share for the squad. It will not charge a card, man. I appreciate everybody and all the love and support, the donations, man. Hey, we about to book these flights to go to the draft. So, hey, it's up, man. We going to bring y'all a, a draft experience. A lot of people never been there. I never been there. And we finna really trap that thing on out, sir. So, if y'all want to support, make sure y'all hit that cash up in the super chats, man. It's all going to help us. Moving forward and get better with the show, so we appreciate it. But uh, look, Tony Pollard, CD Lamb, how you feel about that? <laughs> CD yeah. Lamb and Tony Pollard, I, I, hey, that's controversial. CD Lamb, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, <laughs> Miss Regina already said stop. I know you don't like the Zeke, Miss Regina. I know it. I'm sorry. I can't do nothing about it. I can't do nothing. It's made me sad too, man. I really like Zeke, man, but. You know, everybody time comes. Shout out to Chop Top Montana with the five dollar super. You know what I'm saying? Everybody time come, man. Dak time gonna come out the wild, and I'm gonna be sad about that. But he says, uh, just because I'm not giving out A's and B's don't mean I'm I am not happy. They are making moves, but a lot of these moves are straight up. Hold on, are straight up. Shut up signers. Oh, okay, okay. He said they straight up shut up signers. Hey. I shut up if you if you making moves, man. I ain't gonna lie. Cause I look, it it, it would be I say it'd be qualified as a straight shut up shut up signing if they didn't significantly improve our team. And I can't say that they didn't do that. They did. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a little more Chop Talk. I think it's just a little more. Like they didn't they didn't go all out and bet the house. They didn't push all the chips in the middle of the table now. But you know what I'm saying? They did do some significant things to get this team better. And I appreciate it. But Lamont said he going to the draft, Kim Folk. Oh, you going to go to the draft, man? Make sure y'all see us. Make sure you come meet us. We can link up. You know what I'm saying? That's how we going to do. You know, we want to meet some of y'all too, man. As long as you're not a weirdo. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) As long as you're good people, we good people. You know what I'm saying? But C.D. Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Michael Gallup. Hey, that's a nice, nice receiving core right there, sir. That's a nice receiving core. We got belt overnight. 
Yeah. We got belt overnight. This is what a lot of people failing to realize. You mad that you didn't get the Corvette when you still got the new Charger. You got the new Charger, sir. You know what I'm saying? Here, like, you mad you ain't get lasagna when, when your mama made you spaghetti. Now she made you some spaghetti. Trap, trap, spaghetti trap, trap, trap. And the spaghetti well, is spaghetti. well made. It's good. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got the meat in it, the sausages. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything. The sauce hen right. You understand me? <laughs> hey, Lost and Trail Lady like said we acting nefarious today. You know what I'm saying? But look, okay, ah, this is controversial. The tight end position and the left tackle position. They did them thing back to back. Y'all talk to me now. Talk to me. How y'all feeling about that? How you feeling about that? I don't see Mr. Dalton on here empty where. You know what I'm saying? How you feeling, Mr. Hen? How you feeling? I feel fine so far. Yeah. Because, you know, we when you look at those players, you have a lot of speed. Tony Pollard ran a 4-3 in his pro day. Oh, C.D. Lamb, he doesn't have a fast 40 time, but he's a true number one. He's an all-pro wide receiver. Brandon Cooks. Four three speed, <laughs> uh, six 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 thousand yard uh, seasons. Yeah. Michael Gallup, he, you know, as a third wide receiver, he actually shows up when he's number three. Like you can expect him to do do some pretty good things, and he should be healthy. Hey, now, hold we'll on! Look. Shout out to Eddie Banks. I don't think I ever seen him in here. Shout out to you. Welcome to the trap. But somebody said uh, Brian Bradford said no season and then the spaghetti. Good. <laughs> You guys, you can't say that, man. I think it tastes good. I think it's good. You know what I'm saying? Say no man. sugar in the sauce. <laughs> Ooh, man, that's why you're wrong. They they put a little brown sugar in there with the with the crushed tomato. You know they 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 marinated the uh, the, the garlic. For they the dressed it up. <laughs> well, they, it, hey, they dressed it up and made it real for us. Now they made it real for us. What well, future said? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, I think we good though. So now with Jake Ferguson, with yeah, yeah, whatever that means. But whatever, (laughs) whatever, like Jason, I mean, um, Jake Ferguson, I feel comfortable with him being a starter. I'm not afraid of him being a starter. You know, maybe we could, maybe we might take a step down, who knows? But I, I got faith in four. I think Dak can make sure he get what he need from his tight end position. What you think, him? Dak Prescott has made all the tight ends he played with look good. Facts. So even if we don't have Dalton Schultz, who I think you know, who I would have kept, he has made all the all the tight ends look look good. Like there's a guy that's not even in the league right now in Blake Jarwin who got paid because of his of his play with Dak Prescott. Right, got hurt, not, was never really the same guy. Then uh, got you know got released and then didn't get picked up. Yeah, he got paid playing with Dak Prescott. Dalton Facts. Schultz got ten million dollars guaranteed for for a single season playing with Dak Prescott. Facts. So you know, I like I I like the idea. Okay. Of, uh, of, of, of Jake Ferguson. I feel like you know, Fur can, can do his with. thing. I feel like Fur can do his thing. And then if it's a drop off, okay, this will this is an exercise we're gonna do in the chat, y'all. Class participation, now class participation. Okay, look, out of if if Dalton Schultz. You'll have to rate Donald Schultz and then rate what Ferg would be. How far, how big of a drop off would you say? Like ten being he's nowhere near this man, and then one being it's just slightly a drop off. Which I think, Kyle. If we were to go into this season with Jake Ferguson, how big of a drop off y'all think that'll be at tight end? Ten being the sky's falling, one being man, let's talk about something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, trap, 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 trap. Uh, I'm fine with the uh, with uh, like this. This lineup is fine. Tyra Smith playing left tackle when he's healthy. Like we had this conversation, he's still Tyron Smith to a degree. Like, Lost his translation said upgrade. You real nefarious today, ain't you, sir? You real nefarious. Queen said zero. Ooh, ooh, Queen nefarious today too. Chop time nefarious. Two brought to pay attention. She, uh, you said you you slightly concerned. Uh, young DC, D young DC four L says two or three. James Simmons says zero. Willie says zero. Y'all are real affairs. 
Shout out to T.A. Cowboys. I ain't seen you in here in a minute, man. Trap, How you doing? Trap, trap, uh, trap, 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 Shout out to real trap, nefarious trap. saying zero. Miss Gina says a one. She's not really concerned. She says moving along, moving along. You know what I'm saying? She says moving along. I'm not concerned <laughs> Uh, Aaron Ball says about a three. Aston says four or five. That's high, sir. You the highest one. Like, do you want to talk about it, sir? Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do we need do we need to talk about it, sir? Let it, please post your concerns in the chat. We'll we'll discuss that. Four or five is very high. So so you're not you're not afraid and screaming for your life, but you are concerned. You're significantly concerned. You know what I'm saying? Well, most people, like, they saying they, they good. Be bird with the $2 super. I appreciate you, sir. He says, Cook's speed keeps those safeties deep help run game. Yeah, yeah, that, that helps the run game. You can't load up the box when you got a speedster right there that's ready to take off the top. You know what I'm saying? Trap, trap, Bars. Trap, trap, <laughs> trap, trap, trap. You can't load up the box when you got a receiver taking off your top. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, you know them big bars. But Michael Lockhart says five. Ugh. Marcel says five ish. Ugh. That's pretty strong. That's pretty strong with the K though. Brian Bradford says five. Okay, a lot of people not. I mean, most people ain't too concerned. <laughs> Tyrone Church says a negative two. <laughs> you want to be nefarious, don't you? Okay. But Demarcus Lawrence. Oh, I skipped everybody. But oh, uh, okay. I feel like. Everybody else pretty solid, you know what I'm saying? Tyler Biotis, Zach Mars, Terrence Steele, Demarcus Lawrence, you know. I, I like D Law, but hey, we might we need to be shopping for somebody who can take his place in a few years. What you think about that? We need to be shopping for upgrades at all times for all players. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right? Because, you know, it may not be right now, right? But, you know, you always need to draft somebody in a later round. That you know, you might need to draft somebody with nefarious themselves. Like they would have been a first or a second round pick, but they 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 done knocked their girlfriend upside the head, or they got caught with them pounds in the trunk. <laughs> like you got, like 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 the L. Collins. Like yeah. they, you know, like, like L. Collins had a high draft grade, but you know he, you know, did not go high because of you know they they thought he killed he killed somebody. It turned out not to be true. Yeah. You know, it it tarnished his reputations where we could where we could pick him up. Okay, you, know, you, you always need to be trying to find a discount, bring somebody in that you can use a reclamation project for for a guy in front of him. Now I ain't gonna lie, out of this list on the offense, before we move to the defense, real quick. Okay, what flaw do y'all see on the offense? Now I guess I I guess you could say running back is unknown at this. Hold point. on, wait, we're not gonna do that. What you know? what? We're not gonna do that. Like, why am I gonna sit here? You have a Pro Bowl running back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, listen, he had, listen. <laughs> I know. Listen, I know y'all miss Zeke. I miss Zeke. All right, I thought he had a, a place on this team, but we're not gonna sit here and act like Tony Pollard did not get over a thousand yards on under two hundred carries. Yeah, right. We're not gonna act. We're not gonna act like he was not one of the most explosive running backs in the National Football League last year. Right, we're not gonna do that. All so right. yes, like you could say running back two, but not your starting running back. Like that's the thing you're looking for. Like you're looking for somebody to help Tony Pollard. You're looking for somebody that you want to run on short yardage. You're looking for somebody that you want to pass block sometimes, a power back. That's what you're looking for. When you look at your starter, Tony Pollard is fine. Shout like, out to Chop Top Montana. My bad. Oh, Shout oh. out to Chop Top Montana with the two dollar super. He says next year, JT. Tamu Tamu Lua, man, you know I speak broken English. Why you gonna do me like that with that man? <laughs> Is D Law's replacement? I'm gonna have to look him up. Cha 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 be like two three years ahead with the draft. Like, hey, he he a monster with it. Trap, 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 yeah, yeah. The only reason I said semi unknown because Tony still hurt. But I'm telling y'all right now from the reports and stuff I've been hearing. They saying that it's, it's just a broken leg. He would be fine. So it's it's no long term, you know what I'm saying, concerns or none of that. He's, he would be fine. He just got to heal. So I ain't saying it's an unknown. But okay, Michael Gallup being your wide receiver three, I'm not concerned with that. I'm actually excited about that. So that's a strength. Now the tight end could be concerning because it's an unknown. But I, I'm, I have a lot of faith and I feel like Jake Ferguson will be a uh, a great replacement for Dallas Schultz. 
It might take him a little time because, you know, it's a learning curve, but I think he'll be fine. And, you know, the line, Tyron Smith is a big question mark, to be real. But I got faith in my guy. I'm, I'm rocking with him. Now, on the defense, yep. the only the only, the only, only hole I see is defensive tackle. That's it. Mm. That's it. And that's, and, and that's ill. And that's if Quinn Bohannon does not make a jump. Because if he does make a make a jump, because remember, he's been playing a lot, but he was a six-round pick for a reason. So, you know, let, let's just get that out there. Yeah, so. If, he is, if, he, if he's able to develop, then you don't have a hole there. Yeah. If not, then you definitely need to go get, you, get your ass a, a, a big, fat, sloppy body defensive tackle. <laughs> you know that A that, trash that, can he, full he, of dirt. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Mafia My GTA with the $5 super. I appreciate you, sir. Trap. She says, we need a running back that can do both unless we are planning on running two running back sets. Otherwise, the defense will know what's coming. Yeah, you right. I think we're going to add a running back. So, I'm not saying, like, we just going to rock out with Tony, but I wouldn't look at the running back position as a as a weakness, though. I still win because you got a pro bowl back that's a home run hitter. Like, a lot of teams don't have that, and we do. Even though we, you know, paying ten million for him, you know what I'm saying? We still got them. But uh, defensive tackle with Osa Odigizua, we really need this. Is, this is a big year for Osa. We need him to take a step. We need Quinn Bohanna to take a step. This is a make or break year for them too. I believe. What y'all think? This will make. This might be a make or break year for Osa Odigizua and Quinn Bohanna. They got to get it. And if they drop a defensive tackle, they might be, you know. Maybe be a cut or something. One of them might be a cut. Man, we get Mozzie Smith or somebody. It's a wrap. Yeah, like, ain't no like tell. They need, they, yeah, they trade bait. Listen, they have things they are good at. Like they can, like I said, they're on passing down, they can push the pocket, apply pressure, and they can get you some sacks. They ain't gonna stop the run. They they look light in the ass for that. So, yeah. um, so I we think do we get somebody like Mozzie Smith that can do both is over. Yeah, I think we pretty solid on the rest of them, man. Layton Van Der Esch, it ain't, you know, it ain't the McDonald's, but you got McDonald's at home. You know what I'm saying? If Damone Clark take a take a jump, bro, it is on, y'all. It is on. If Damone get that jump, it's on. You know what I'm saying? Then, okay, Stephon Gilmore and Diggs, that's, that's tremendous. That's outstanding. Cornerback three, Bland or Jordan Lewis, that's outstanding. Donovan Wilson, Malik Hooker, we got one of the strongest safety rooms in the NFL, sir. We already know that. So, we don't have many holes on this defense. I'll say, if anything, I want to upgrade that defensive tackle. And, you know, if a linebacker falls to me, I'm drafting him. You know what I'm saying? De- defensive end is a sneaky need, too. So, don't forget that. Shout out to Kevin Gray on Twitter. Make sure y'all go follow him. He says, so the Cowboys flip Noah Brown for Brandon Cooks. Is that how this works? So, look, ain't that interesting? Um, trap, 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 HTM, trap, trap, they trapped trap. that thing on out. Shout out to Common Sense Lab with the $2 holler. He says seven yards before LVE catches to, <laughs> to the tackle is a weakness. Good agree. Man, hey, shout out to Boss Cowboy Sports, man. I was in his chat yesterday. Somebody called him the Wolf Hugger, man. Good grief. Why y'all be playing so Y'all much? so wrong, <laughs> bro. Y'all ain't no good. But, okay, Noah Brown for Brandon Cooks. Look, this makes you, this do make you think about it. Like, bro, if y'all wanted Noah Brown and we wanted Brandon Cooks, we should have been able to get a deal done last year. Trap, trap, you know trap, what I'm saying? Trap, trap. They signed Noah Bryan and we signed Brandon Cooks. And we couldn't we couldn't have worked that out. That's weird, man. That's weird. Well, look, this is the thing. I don't think, you know, on paper they saw Noah Brown being an acquisition worthy of, of getting traded for, for Brandon Cooks. Last Cooks, right? year, you're right. You're right. Last yeah. Year. yeah. But, you know, but, you know, the season was still ongoing. He only ended with five hundred and fifty five yards. So ain't no telling how many yards he had when we actually play uh when the trade deadline came. So you know, so you know, like I understand why a deal couldn't get done at that point, 
and they only signed him for a one year deal for like a million dollars. Yeah. So like they don't they don't believe no brand. They, like they, they ain't investing in them either though. So yeah, I just thought it was interesting that you know we we swapped out receivers, but we couldn't get to a deal. And we we visited the nego- negotiation table last year, and we couldn't get it done. Then Jerry John them said they ran out of ink in their pen or something. I think they said. I think they said the fax machine, you know, stopped working. <laughs> You know, while the deal, while the deal was downloading or something, that's just some that's, Wi-Fi. That's, that's crazy. They that's <laughs> that's crazy. They so wild. <laughs> that's that's all front office, boy. They wild. But uh, this is pretty much showing everybody what what um Brandon Cook's journey has been before he got to the Cowboys. So let's take a look at it. All right, the Brandon Cook story. Shout out to John Williams on Twitter. The Brandon Cook story says it is so intriguing. Saints traded up in 2014 to draft him at 20th overall. New Orleans traded him to New England for a first. Patriots traded him to the Rams for a first. Rams traded him to the Texans and for a second. After rookie season, 1,000 yards in the last eight years. Now, hey, that boy is adaptable, ain't he? Trap, 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 that boy trap, is adaptable. Trap, trap. Now it is kind of you know it does raise my antennas to wonder why they be releasing them so much though you know what I'm saying well, that, that's peculiar. I can, I can actually give you the uh, the backstory okay. on most of this if you want to go and look at it with me. Yeah, yeah, let's so, do that. So let's take a look. So I want you to remember something. Brandon Cooks was a first round pick. He was the 20th pick overall, um, you know, in the in the draft in 2014. Now when you look at it. Right, he was finna get enumerated. Right, he came up for you no know, after the, after his third year. He was going to his fourth year. He played his first three years with the Saints. Well, New England traded for him, right? Because they needed a, a number one receiver for Tom Brady. Yeah. So, like, at, you know, he was one of the best receivers that he had. So the Saints did not want to pay him, even though he did have back to back eleven hundred yard seasons. Right, so they ended up trading him to uh, the New England. Patriots. Yeah. So he was still on his rookie deal with two years left. So what happened was he had got a concussion during the Super Bowl and, you know, they had questions about his health. So they traded him to the LA Rams who then extended him. Oh, okay. The Rams, the Rams ended up trading him for the same reason because of uh, injury concerns to the Houston. No, matter of fact, his contract expired. He did not get traded to the, uh, to Houston. Like oh, okay. he he signed as a free he signed as a free agent with Houston. Oh, okay. then Houston traded him. <laughs> yeah, so he has been he's a well traveled man. I say that he's a well traveled man. I say that. Trap, but trap, trap, he does produce trap, though. Trap, trap, he produces trap, everywhere he goes. That's what made me like it was concerning when I heard how much he's been passed around. But then it was the money. It was the money yeah. two times. Once I seen how much he produced. All those concerns went out the window, sir. They went out the window. So, let me see. I had a few more things I was looking at. Dang, hold on. What happened? Well, I messed my thing up, look like. Let me see. But I ain't tripping too much off him being passed around, though. You know what I'm saying? Like we said, uh, he produced everywhere. He was adaptable. I like that. So that's a that's a good indication of what you're going to get when he come in here. He coming right to Dak Prescott, ready to go off. You know what I'm saying? He ready to do it. And he's a plug-and-play guy. They did exactly what I wanted. They didn't go in the draft and take a gamble again. They did something that was for sure. They got that bird in the hand. Huh? No, real talk. So let's see. Uh, well, I got one more. I was talking about. Let me see. Give me one second. Bam. Okay. 19. Bam. Okay. Let's see. Now, they already was doing, giving signs out there, man. They got pictures together already. So, it was a, I seen an Instagram post or a Twitter post, one of them. But but Brandon Cooks was already communicating with him like that. That's why I was telling y'all yesterday. You oh, gotta no, pay. Att- yeah, you gotta pay attention to the uh, internet these days. You do realize they played together already, right? Who they played with? Oh, New England. 2017. New England. Trap, trap, You're right. Trap, 
The White Trap. The White Trap. The Reunited. Yeah. Reunited. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Now, look, we got to do a little psych troll on the weak old eagles. You know what I'm saying? Them filthy turd birds. You understand? Trap. 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 You already know that. Them boys losing everything they are in shambles you know what i'm saying when we had to go look into when we got a view of how they feeling over there it was it was real sad you know what i'm saying everybody was crying it was really it was really sad you know what i'm saying they losing everybody and we over here reading up we reloading you know what i'm saying we don't know nothing about that we don't understand you know what i'm saying we don't understand we good but let's get back to it man let's get back to it yeah, I ain't tripping off of it. I'm just laughing at everything they, they built is just crumbling down. That's the best thing for a cowboy. You know what I'm saying? Trap, <laughs> trap, 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 How you feel hey, about that? Hey, I'm going to say, they finna, have to, they finna have to pay Jalen Hurts like $50 million, ain't they? I pray they do. I pray they do. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, that is not going to be, I don't think that's going to be a good move. But go ahead. You know what I'm saying? That might be that might be one of them things that have me in a position like this. You know, even with Cowboy Nation, y'all love y'all some Jalen Hurts scene, like. Trap, 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 you know what I'm saying? Trap, 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 but I stand on what I say. You know, I'm solid with it. Well, I'm solid and stand on whatever. You know how we do it. But yeah, man, I do like the team building strategy that we did opposed to what they did because we didn't. Like sacrifice it all, you know what I'm saying? And then we got players that that still gonna stay here with us. We ain't losing nothing, y'all. Y'all should be happy. Y'all should be pleased. Trap. 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 We're not Trap. losing nothing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to Mavi Mike. Give them give them a hundred mil, please. I want them to pay Jalen Hurts. I'm telling you straight up, he ain't he ain't did nothing to the Cowboy for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is no diss, but these are fact. This is a factual statement, man. You can tell the truth still. Can you still tell the truth in 2022, uh, 23? <laughs> can you still tell the truth? You know what I'm saying? Of course. He, he hasn't did nothing, truth, nothing against. He ain't did nothing against the Cowboys, man. He ain't. You know what I'm saying? And we still been smacking them around when we got our quarterback. So that's something y'all got to keep in mind. Eagles have not beaten Dak Prescott since 2019, so that's four years. We keep talking about this. We good. Long, yeah, as long as Dak is the quarterback, long as Dak is the quarterback, you will not beat him. You yeah. ain't beat him in four years. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the, guy, the last guy to beat Dak Prescott is not even on the team. Facts. Carson Wentz is gone, being being sorry as hell on everybody else's team. <laughs> And look, y'all and still you. had that science had that science. You went out. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. I hear you now. Yeah, I hear me. I can hear you. Yeah, we back. We can hear you now. All right, thank God. We good. We good. We rolling. Hey, we in the trap, man. Hit that sound, man. I ain't I gotta get this shortage fixed, man. <laughs> I gotta get this shortage fixed. But yeah, man. Um what were we talking about? We were talking about Jay, we were talking about the Eagles not being able to beat Dak Prescott. You know, the usual stuff, them being yeah. being sorry as hell and, and being delusional. <laughs> talking about they talk about they good. They talk about they good against a quarterback that that's eight and three against them. How they never One win. Them, Boy, one of those wins with Dak Prescott uh, played a series. They talk and they, they talk about they good. I ain't gonna lie, that year, that year we were sitting our players out and they won. Man, I got a partner that's an Eagles fan. He called me, still celebrate. I don't care. We still beat y'all. You can tell how bad they want to beat us, bro. They do not beat us. You know what I'm saying? Ever. And listen, like you ain't beat a, you ain't beat a player in four years and you you know you play him like twice a year that's just, that's not concerning to you like you actually have to win your division right to how many times y'all gonna bring up two eagles i know y'all super bowl that y'all that shouldn't y'all be looking to win so this well listen uh, i'm old enough to have seen us win three super bowls i know you have never seen the eagles win more than one so you know we can start with that 
But you know, like, yes, we're going to talk about the Eagles as long as they talk about us, cause they ain't shit. <laughs> hey, tell them again. Trap, hey, I don't know what they trap, talking about. Trap, 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 and they say stuff like that, but they content creators actually naming our content creators and our team. That's how they talk about. So, but when we talk about it, what y'all talking about the Eagles for? Hey, it don't work like that. Most of the time, when you hear me talking about the Eagles, I'm shooting back. You know, you know how we do. Hey, yo, pass me a lighter. I'm trying to smoke me out. I'm shooting back. I ain't just, I ain't just bringing them up. They always got our name in their mouth because you know why. We are America's team, the most watched. You know the why? Most hated. Y'all don't like us, but y'all tune in every Sunday. So now, don't you ever forget that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, hey, man. Leon, Leonel said he thought you was a landlord. He said, shouldn't nothing over there be broken. <laughs> hey, man, we in the trap, though. Trap. <laughs> we trapped. Trap. Hey, I'm, I'm a slum lord at this point, unfortunately. You know what I'm mean? saying? But yeah, he said, they literally care. They literally only care about beating us. Facts. That's all they ever talk about. You know what I'm saying? That's they still. That's why they still like to feel. They still feel like they got a successful season because they beat us. You know what I'm saying? They still feel successful. Hey, we 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 beat y'all. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. We ain't listening to that. But yeah, Man. you know it's not much of a rivalry. People say that the Eagles are rivals. We got the, we got a stranglehold on the head to head, which actually matters, right? That was that was you know defines a white rivalry, right? The head to head, like yeah, we 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 go crazy with that. Yeah, uh, we got we got more championships to, uh, than them too, right? Five to one, way more, you know. All right, so we we got more division titles than them, right? Way more, yeah. Oh, uh, okay, so yeah, uh, what 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 what's a rivalry? Yet? There is no rivalry with them. They just loud and annoying, bro. I've been told you that they just loud and annoying. That's all. But, yeah, man, I'm probably finna get ready to wrap this thing on up, man. I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. We got Brandon Cook's film on here. We talked about everything going on around the league. We talked about how much better we going to be with Brandon Cooks. So, I hope y'all appreciate it, man. Make sure y'all hit that like and share for the squad trap, now. Trap, trap, trap. So how y'all feeling after the Brandon Cooks move? Y'all feel like we we did a good thing because I know we did. You know what I'm saying? Of course. Like, listen, we upgraded a wide receiver too. That's all we asked them to do. We have more speed. We have veteran uh, leadership. We have playoff experience. We have a guy who can stretch the field. We got everything we asked for. You listen, moving Michael Michael Gallup back to the wide receiver three. Like you know, that's that's inc- that's improving your wide receiving core. Just letting Noah Brown walk and adding Brandon, Brandon Cooks, you're actually deep in wide receiver now. Facts, you you didn't flip that that weakness into a strength overnight with one move. Yeah, and then you got Jalen Tobin them coming down the pipe hole. You got uh, what's his name, uh, Cavante Turpin. We can probably get some from them people. We ne- we never know. And then you know when you add a player like Brandon Cooks to CD Lamb on that side, that gives that makes everybody better. You know what I'm saying? That makes CD Lamb better. I'm really more happy for CD Lamb. You know what I'm saying? Don't work. I'm, I'm happier for CD Lamb. Trap, trap, you know what I'm saying? CD just had all that he- heavy lifting he did by himself, and now he got some help. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this, just imagine how much help this going to help for CD Lamb. Like CD probably going to be even more dominant. You know what I'm saying? When people can't focus on him. So, like, that's a huge upgrade for our team, man. But we finna go and wrap this thing on up, man. Make sure you let them know where to find you at Mr. HTM Sports. Hey, man, it's your boy, Henny the Mo. You can catch me at the liquor store. But come over over here to HTM Sports where we'll be dropping more cowboy content. We can get drunk on that while Jerry get drunk on his yacht, man. Yes, sir, man. You know I go by Landlord from Alabama. You're a plug for everything about America's team, a.k.a. It's me. I'm him. I'm not them. I'm him, Jones. I'm, I'm him, Duncan. And I appreciate everybody coming with me, man, and rocking with me, man. But I appreciate you. And like I say, 1K, 1 love. Cowboys Nation. Let's go. You know how we do it, man. I appreciate everybody. Make sure y'all have a good day. Let's go.